So I gave you a patient today that was involved in MVC, T-bone collision that hit him on this side. You're noticing that the BVM is harder and harder to squeeze. They're having a declining blood pressure and an elevated heart rate at this particular time. And I asked you, what do you think is going on? And on top of that, what do you need to do for this patient? And the answer is that this patient is likely having a tension pneumothorax developing on the affected side. So what do we need to do that? Well, we need to do a needle decompression. So let's look at the anatomy so that way you can get a good idea of where we're gonna decompress and why those are the best spots. Okay, so we need to find the mid clavicle line. That's still the most common place that we're doing the needle decompressions. The mid axillary line, which runs the body like so in the fourth or fifth intercostal space, that is becoming a lot more common, but we're gonna talk about the still the most common one that we're using right now in EMS, which is the mid clavicle line. So first off, we gotta find two places. We need to find the second intercostal space, and then we need to find the mid clavicle line. So first off, let's find the second intercostal space. Best way to do that is find the sternum. Walk down the sternum until you find this hump, okay? You can feel it on your patient. This hump is the angle of Louis. Now from here, we know that the second rib is attached to the angle of Louis like so. So once we find the angle of Louis, that big hump, then we start to walk out to the affected side, okay? And this is our rib, that's our second rib. Now we know that we're gonna decompress below that in this intercostal space here, okay? Now we need to find how lateral we wanna go. So now we know this is the intercostal space, Okay, and so now we're going to figure out where we're going to actually decompress in this intercostal space. So that's the mid clavicle line. Now remember the clavicle starts here and it doesn't end until it's way out here. Okay, over the above the shoulder. If you start to try and identify that mid clavicle line by kind of coming here where kind of the shoulder starts, you find that your needle decompression is actually going to be closer to the midline, which we don't want. So just remember the clavicle comes more over the shoulder than you realize. And so knowing that, meaning that our mid clavicle line is actually more out here as opposed to here. And that's kind of more closer to the nipple line is that what you would expect. So that's just something to take in consideration because the four, more midline you are, the more damage you potentially could cause. So go more lateral. Now, now that we know the mid clavicle line is out here, then we wanna make sure that we're gonna decompress in this intercostal space. Now we wanna come above the third rib in this intercostal space like so. There's a lot of muscle and nerve tissue below the ribs like so. So we wanna come above the third rib like so in that mid clavicle line, okay, in the second intercostal space. 